Kevin here and today I'd like to talk about colonization. So as I'm progressing through the game myself, uh, I'm trying to teach the things to you that I learn in the process. And now I'm about ready to start colonizing a planet. So if you've seen my earlier video on settlements, you've learned that um, you can actually settle on some planets and you can build stuff there um, so you get resources. Um, so if you go outside of the uh, inner nine planets, you can actually settle on systems you discover. So like you can just fly anywhere and each system has sometimes a couple of planets and you can analyze them to see how habitable they are. And then you can start a colony there and start um, extracting resources and building stuff. So that's all pretty cool. And it goes quite deep as far as I'm aware. Um, so I'm hoping to, to learn a lot and uh, teach you in the meantime as well. So colonization basically starts with going to a planet and then analyzing its properties. So to see if it's actually suitable for, um, for colonization. So for that, I'll go to this planet here, Last Frontier. It also already has some colonies. Um, so now I'll basically just go and see what's up with that planet. So here you can see I arrived at the planet. It is actually quite nice. It has a lot of water. Um, and I'll just want to land somewhere to take a soil sample. I've seen in the trailer that you can also land in the water. So maybe I should just check that out as well. It looked cool in the trailer at least. So that's pretty cool about this game. You can just go to any planet and moon and you can just land on it. And at the moment it doesn't look that impressive yet, but I guess the, the graphics keep being improved as well. Now they hired a full-time artist, so that's going to be awesome. So as you can see I've got my grav anchor off and the gravity is just pulling me down quite hard. So maybe I should actually start putting the grav anchor on a bit. Yeah, this game definitely gives you a cool feeling of exploration. That's really nice. Ah, oh, here's the water. Ooh, reflections. Let's see if this ship is waterproof. Ooh. Ooh, there we are. under the water surface. Well, I'm not sure if you can EVA underwater. I think you can, but I'm gonna, just to be safe, I'm just gonna do it on the soil. I just wanted to see what it looks like being underwater. So yeah, the process is basically you, you land on a planet, you get out, you take a soil sample, you analyze it with your mining beam and it, it tells you which um, which minerals are there on the planet, in which quantities. Um, it tells you if the soil is fertile to grow stuff. Um, then you can also analyze um, other things like gravity and um, which uh, compounds are in, uh, in the atmosphere, if the planet has an atmosphere. Um, yeah, so the, you, can, you can analyze a lot of stuff. Things like gravity don't matter so much because uh, if you, for example, don't um, have a perfect Earth-like planet, you need to build an uh, environmental dome anyway, which can change a lot of variables like, like gravity and, uh, and air pressure and those kind of things to make it more habitable for humans. However, what an environmental dome doesn't change is the mineral composition of the soil, so you do need to settle, of course, in a, in a place that's well, rich in minerals or rich in, uh, has a good fertility for certain things. So now I'm landing. I'm using my grav anchor a bit to not completely crash into the too low terrain. Pull up. And the landing is a little bit buggy once in a while. You start seeing now that everything starts shaking. And luckily we don't have to be there too long, but I hope it gets fixed gets fixed at some point. So now I landed. So then it says here landed on last frontier. So you can EVA extravehicular activity. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
We might have to try a couple of times, I guess. There. Now we're there. There. This is us. <laughs> you can see it's not very well optimized yet, this part. Luckily, uh, this is the only reason uh, for you to be on a planet at the moment, uh, so it's not that important. So you can do a couple of things, and the most important now is the soil sample. So you can take a soil sample. Mm, there. You obtain a soil sample. Good. Then we end the AVA, so we, can <laughs> we don't have to stand on that shaky ground. And I'll fly up a bit. There. Grav anchor on, so we stay suspended in the air. And then, um, well, then you can open your console, uh, which if you've seen my ejecting uh, cargo video, you can do it um, with the computer or pressing Control C. And then uh, you can uh, you have to learn some commands, and you can find uh, a very big uh, tutorial um, on the wiki on how to do all this stuff. Um, and it also contains all the commands you need to know. So the first thing you want to do to do is show MB samples, which basically means show something with mining beam and then samples. Which samples can we analyze? Well, I've already visited a couple of planets and the one that I now want to analyze is Ultima Last Frontier. So then you do show mining beam analyze Ultima Last Frontier. And then you get the soil analysis. So it tells you the minerals. So this is actually quite a nice planet because um, the only thing that you cannot harvest from a planet is silicon. And if there is a high percentage of silicon in the soil, that means it's not uh, well. It's not a very productive planet because most of the time you're gonna come across silicon and you can't harvest it. So this one actually has 40% iron, which is very nice. Quite some aluminium, 30%. Carbon 13% and tin 10%. Uh, titanium, sorry. Uh, and then there is the, the geo score. So this goes from 1 to 5, and it basically tells you how concentrated these minerals are. If it's 1, it's spread all over the place. So factories that you make uh, are not very efficient uh, in, in obtaining the materials. If it's geo 5, like here, it's perfect. So basically, you will find pockets with pure iron and if you build a factory over there or an iron harvester ar iron mine then uh, it's super efficient uh, so it can find all the iron at once then there is so this is a really nice planet it's got geo 5 you really want 5 or if all the other stuff is good you want 4 is fine but lower than that is apparently not not recommended uh, then you also get an agricultural analysis. So this says this soil is toxic for grain, this soil is toxic for fruit, this soil is toxic for vegetables, and this soil is toxic for animals. In other words, it hates us. So um, basically you can't really grow anything on there. However, you can mine a lot of stuff on there, and then you can just import uh, food from, uh, from other places. Um, to, to feed your workers. So in, in that sense, uh, what I've been hearing is that, that this part is the most important. So you really want to look out for the minerals because you can find uh, on your settlements, for example, you can produce grain and then transport it here so everybody can eat and is happy. So uh, now that we've done that, um, we can also do a uh, atmospheric analysis. I think, was it like this? I'm not sure. Ah, yes. So uh, there's a couple of, of commands. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here you go. Okay, we can do it in this uh, in this order. So we can first show the gravity. So this is uh, measured in, in Earth-like units, basically. So if you have to, so show G G G. Then it says that the gravity is 2.4. So basically, this planet you would weigh two and a half times as much. So it would be quite hard to walk around with uh, here, um, and it's not very friendly to humans. So with the environmental dome, uh, it can change the gravity, so that wouldn't be a problem at all. Then you can do um, show RS pressure, which is um, the atmospheric pressure of the gases that are uh, surrounding the planet. 
so you can see um, what do we have in the atmosphere and as you can see I did it here we have a pressure of 0 0.69 um, I don't think any of these are really important at the moment because you can basically just build an environmental dome and, and change all these variables however one thing that's really important is show RS composition uh, so I'll type that in so what do we have we don't have any water here we don't have uh, oh we have a little bit of methane um, so there's no oxygen there's some co2 and there's some nitrogen and nh3 as well um, so why are these gases important um, well they're important because the environmental dome is a very high-tech thing and it can pull stuff apart so as far as I'm aware if you want water you can just um, strip the um, the hydrogen atoms from either methane or um, ammonia and then add them to for example the O the oxygen of O2 and basically you can combine gases and vent them into your environmental domes and thus make uh, livable conditions for for the human beings in there um, so if you don't have an atmosphere so if you don't have any atmosphere pressure and no nothing in there then your environmental domes cannot take anything out of the outside world and they cannot change any of the things into into good stuff so that would mean you have to buy or make these gases somewhere else and bring them all into this planet and then put them in the environmental dome which as far as I'm aware is, is quite a lot of work so it would be really nice to have um, planets with the atmosphere although it's not completely necessary so this is actually it looks like it's a very nice planet um, that's also why a couple of people settled on it uh, probably uh, the only thing well you can't grow food on it but that you'll just have to have to import then so now that we know which minerals are are there and how productive actually the the, the planet is um, you of course want to know where you want to settle so I press ctrl C to exit this and to do this can, whoop, can lift off um, this planet is huge right so yeah how do you know where you want to settle and to do that you need a core sampling probes that basically take some time to image or map the entire planet on its resource distribution and then at some point you can ask the probes hey give me that map and then um, you can look at the map and decide where you want to start your colony uh, I'm gonna do that it will be part of uh, my next video I'm gonna um, chop these tutorials in a, in a couple of pieces so they're not all too long um, so I uh, hope to see you at the next tutorial and hope you found it useful and see ya